come get the fuck out of here. That was on film. One of us just cursed. Well, did it occur to you I can bloop things? Really? Do you know who this is? You could put it at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Don't you well, know who I am? Well, this is Chuck. He's, he appears a lot. He's Puck Chucker on the chat. And if you look in the chat right now, you can see he's chatting with us. I am. See, Chuck, I can see you there. I know. Uh, on, but on some screens, you're down here. Usually I'm over there, though. Yeah, usually. Yeah. Depends on what you're watching this one. It's true. Chuck has brought another dozen <clears throat> wonderful duck... Oh! <laughs> well, those were popular. Hmm. Yes, they were very tasty. There's only I had one, one left. I had one. I only had one, too. When he came over today, we actually were not going to do a video. It's true. We, were. we discovered... Well, first of all, there, I, I, I didn't realize how wonderful this man is. This man right here, Wayne Nayans, he was a pinball designer for Gottlieb. I've seen him, I've, I've, but you see, I, I wasn't into mechanical pets. And I know the name, but I don't and, know his work. And we just discovered, I thought this was going to be an average run-of-the-mill game, a mechanical. I'm not fond of mechanicals, but they, they serve their purpose. So I sent Walt, who's filming, over and say, see if the game plays. We just got this game in trade. Mm -hmm. And he came back and he actually, he said, Todd, the game works great. He said, the flippers are weak, but that's because they have those little tiny flippers. Right, Gottlieb right. didn't right. have the big flippers yet. So I said, oh, great. I said, Chuck, do you want to go over and we'll film this real quick and we'll put it up on Marketplace. Little did we know that this is an actual treasure. This is a Gottlieb treasure. It really is. It <laughs> really is. So, without any further ado, let's go over and look at Wayne's Happy Clown. Do you know Chuck came over out of his busy world? Yes, I did. Because he was dreaming of Happy Clown. I go all Vanna White on you. Happy Clown. This is a Wayne Neon game. Yes, it is. Uh, in 1964, he was very prolific, and he came up with a really interesting game with an animated clown. You know the best part about this game? He determined that it's more fun to compete. Choose partners for team play. See that? He was ahead of his time. And look, one, two, three, or four can play at the same time. A Ooh. game of skill. That's right. Mm, impressive. Now, what's really impressive about this game is the plastics are all intact. Yes, they are. They're very nice, uh, actually. It, it has the original chromed um, points. Mm -hmm. The rubbers were changed recently. It's in generally good condition. Play the play feels, feels clean. Nice. Yeah, it's absolutely clean. It's a little bit and of spotting, but nothing The right. target values, I understand, may be projected Whoa. on this. And that most looks... important, and, and keep in mind, this is November of 64. It was so popular that they came out with it again in February or January. They made even more. Here, let's look back here. Before we turn, Chuck, did you ever see the back of Happy Clown? Because I, I didn't. I have never seen the back of Happy yeah. Clown. Uh, if you can look, and I'm going to hit this button twice. All right. Four players mean there's lots of stuff back here. Lots of stuff, okay? All this stuff moving. You can hear all three sounds. This is a release for the back glass, and then this swings down so you can service the machine. Now, in the case of this, I'm trying to understand a little. Our clown is here in the center. Right Actually, here. our clown is outside the machine right now. Yes, the clown is out. But apparently, our clown... See, there's Mr. Clown. He can move. He does move on the blue. Right, he moves. That's creepy. Yeah, it's very creepy. And I see the moving mechanism. Oh, great. Here it is. Look. So the clown, if you look back here, the clown wiggles. And it's a single coil that must make the clown jump. See, look, look this way. Oh, you know what? You can't see him jump. 
from here. Yeah, you can't see it from back here. So, make in jump. the here, let me show you something. Here's the clown, and the panel is mounted and vibrates like that. Oh, yeah. Very, very, most unusual. Right. All the Gottlieb stuff, also, Walt and Chuck, they very nicely labeled the I saw that. Uh, quills. Yeah. And after all these years, Chuck, how many years now, baby? You said this was 64? Uh huh. So that would make it 58 years. And the cards are still intact. This was in a collector's home. The point scoring card is here. Wow. This is how you set your high scores. The blue wire scores 10 to 1,000, huh. and the red wire scores 1,100 to 1,900. And by programming it here, if you plugged the blue wire into that hole, the replay would be 900. But if you put the red wire into that hole, it would be um, 1,800. You'll notice right now it's set for 900, 1,400, and 1,200. So this will pop a game, and then you have extra ones. So you could actually unplug these. See how they plug into these little holes they drilled in here? So this is like programming um, your Macintosh at home. So you, do you have a Macintosh, uh, Chuck? I do, actually. Or your Dell computer. It's just like that. Yes. Will they come up next? It's amazing, isn't it? 58 years ago. 58? They were all over it. All right, let's see what happens now. I'm going to take this camera and hand it back to you. And Chuck, I'm going to program it. Okay. Ah, there it goes. Okay, now okay. I'm going to program it for two. Now notice, Chuck, Yes. one, one person. Point. And listen, listen to the relay drop in. So literally, one of the relays inside the second player relay dropped. So the first is in. Now if I pushed it three, I'm not going to. The you third player and the fourth. Yeah. So the second relay turns that light on, but also tells the computer. It is a computer. It is. In, in, in what to do. Rudimentary, but yes. Now this uses the feed a ball system. Feed a ball. You load the ball by pushing that button. And instantly, Mr. Ball appears. And now let's see. How happy I can get. Still should have done feed a ball. It plays well, but there's flippers. Oh, I just spun. Mm. Wow. Very unforgiving. Well, that wasn't much fun. Flippers a go go. Okay. Now I'm trying to see where the roto is here. Target values. It, you know what? They are lit. Yeah, Wait a minute. Let me turn these lights off. Yeah, they're lit. Yeah. Okay, Chuck, you go up here. Mm -hmm. So look, we have a three, a four, a two, a three, and a two. So this is worth two. Now, Chuck, you shoot the ball. Two whole points. Mm -hmm. And you play. And then we'll watch the roto. So it is projected. So those numbers can change. Did you see oh, that? Oh, yeah, look at that. Did you see that? Yeah. Neat. So he got four, uh, 40 points removed. Uh, flippers are, flippers okay, are soft. Well, well short, that's the boom. joy of a happy, happy clown. clown. Now, when does the clown move? Look, right oh, there. Oh, there there he goes. It's really disturbing. It's actually more disturbing than I thought it was going to be. Pre-polar Ronald McDonald. Yeah. Nothing like a clown with now a look, bobbing well, head. Now look, in addition, Wayne has programmed the target. So I have C-L-O. I, I need the O. I, need the, I just spun the roto. Yep. So obviously this is a game that desperately needs you to play it. Nope. Now, the roto, see, it says 50 points when lit. So I'm going to guess you only get 10 points when it's not lit. Okay. Okay, Chuck, you're up. I do. I have a whole 150 points. Now, there's a piece of metal here. That's why she's not lit here. So the, That's why she's not lit there? Yes, I saw there was a piece of metal. Oh. I guess where the... the I thought this was G-rated. That's why they didn't want to lit there. Now, now, look, he must jump when you hit. 
This one. Oh, that was loads of energy. Oh. This is fascinating. It is. It actually is very interesting. Yeah. The fan is moving, dancing away. I mean, an awful lot went into this. It did. I mean, you would very... really have to have his face bounce. But you see, look here, she's controlling him. See how she's like moving. Like a marionette. That's right. It's so clever. It's nicely done. That place is beautiful. It is. Now, I, this is honest to God, this is the first time I've played this. This is actually fascinating. I'm dying to see how this projection is done. So when we finish the game... So it says, same player shoots again. That's you. It? That's right. So I assume shoot I again. shoot again. And notice you were still on ball three. You're doing phenomenal. I'm doing something. We have the lights off because uh, we have a, it's projecting the numbers. It's most yep. unusual. All right, uh, it's you five are, ball. It is five ball. And I'm sma Oh no, you're smashing five me. ball. Apparently, yeah, it's well, on ball number four. I played four players, three ball, and it was done. Huh? Well, that's probably you were a lousy player. Yeah. Well, this was a little unforgiving. Okay. Well, mm. you rushed it through, I'm sure, because you didn't hit anything. It's actually a lot of fun to play. I have to say, it wasn't it's better than a yeah, it's, it's very interesting. It's really neat. It's better than Raven. And it, that's a godly go. My last ball. This is my last chance to destroy Chuck. Better than the Motor Dome? No. Oh, yes, it's better than Motor Dome. Now I only got ten thousand points for Chuck. You said earlier it was better than Godzilla, and certainly better than Toy Story Four. Now this has a lot more programming than Godzilla. Oh. <laughs> Chuck, this is your final chance. My final and ball. We still have some excitement ahead of us when we match. I'm assuming the match works. First time I've ever played Happy Clown. Happy Look, Clown. Ten points. Just what I got. A lousy ten points. It is a lousy ten points. But let's see what Chuck can do here. Let's fun to Mr. Roto. That bong is more points, so you want to hear that bong. Bing bong. Than the bong, ding, bong, ding, bong, ding, bong. ding, ding, ding. Now the, the programming said there's three sounds. I've got information off of this site here, International Pimple Data. Great site. Okay. All right, well, here we are. 600. Oh, we matched. Oh, look at that. It's a, it's, it, did it give us two uh, match numbers? It must, yeah. Either that or it's in between. Let's see. What is going on with this projector in here? Now, it looks like the projector lights went off. Probably only works in game mode. Maybe. Can you uh, step that glass out? I'm itching to see this. This, this is exciting. This has a... Uh, look down here. There's a bar you pull to release the play field. I'm gonna show it to you, Tim. Hmm. Look at this setup yeah, here, Wow, Chuck. look at that, that is wild. Huh. And these are the projection bulbs. Yep. Mm -hmm. My goodness, this has to be the first use, Chuck, of, are they 63s or 81? Wow. They're not 89s, they're 81s and they're hot. They're well, hot. that's not surprising. So when we start it... Look at that. The projection bulbs are on. Yep. And they... It, it, this is actually amazing. So it's using their famous rotor wheel. When it's up in the air like this, it doesn't turn too well. Oh, I'm hitting the switch. The flipper switches are not in the cabinet. They're here. Huh. Now, this, this could do a 
I'm sure this is shot. Actually, no, it's not. Yeah, it's not tape. terrible. Yeah. No, that 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 still good. It's an awful lot of programming. It really is. Now, did you notice something interesting? Look. This made so much money that apparently the money went through here and probably a tube into the floor. Can't even get to see? There it is. You see that? So in other words, with the coin door shut, the money dropped, didn't go into this. It went down below the machine into a probably a, a basket of some sort. Mm. This must have been taking in so much money. God, Chuck. Wow. Now, I was going to say, let's, let's see the schematic. I wonder is there a warranty this is card original. There? Well, it better be under warranty. Oh, oh, God, a mouse oh. was working on this. This is actually beautiful. It really is. Uh, listen, Steve Young sells new ones. You can buy a brand new Happy Clown schematic. You notice if this switch is here isn't working, watch. You follow the wire. Exactly. Back right to the wire. Right there. The There's the switch. Did you see how I did that? I did. It's amazing. Kids, don't try this at home. That man's an expert. I'll include this at no extra charge. Happy Clown! By Marks. You ever watch somebody try to fold up a roadmap? <laughs> now look, Chuck, they were While so driving. classy. Here, come down here. Go through this door. They were so classy. Look at that. They even put it. Now look what they put. Yeah. Have you cleaned the play field? Have you replaced burned out bulbs? Wow. What does the meter say on it? I'm sure that's been around the dial ten times. I can't read the first number. It's a lot of cool. But look, wasn't that classy? You even put a light bulb. I'll tell you Chuck. what. This really is. They thought of almost well, everything. Instruction. How how intricate and beautiful this really is. is uh, the motor adjustment pages are still here. Hmm. This machine is equipped with a special tapped transformer to maintain the usual fine flipper action at low voltage. Moving the red w with yellow tracer, that's this one, believe yep. it or not, right here. Wow. Uh, wire from the normal to the high tap allows the machine to operate at a reduced voltage. Hmm. In no case should the red with yellow tracer wire be left on the high tap when the location has 110 or more volts. Huh. Um, I see now, not, I can't see it closely, but that's either the regular tap and that's the high tap possibly, or somebody's already moved it. Does it say high? Let's go and look. Yeah, see here. Can you folks see? No, oh, it won't focus. It looks like it's on the high tap. High tap. High tap. This also has a bowl of matic here. If you lift, if the, there's no ball in it anymore, but if you lift it, the ball would roll, short it out here. The metal of the ball would short against the switch and shut the game down. So you couldn't pick it up to try to tilt it, mm -hmm. to try to keep the mm -hmm. balls running. Mm -hmm. By the way, here's the lifting mechanism in detail. Can you see? See? They, they, they never went bad. They never went coil bad. never shorted out. Nope. Yeah. No coil. That's right. Exactly. That's right. No coil to short out. Well, what do you think? You know what, I say throw one of Frank's battery boards on it and it's ready to go. I think a fair price is $1,500. Plus tax and free. I guess I could drop it to $1,499. $1,499. Just to show people that I'm, I've got a heart. Do I? I would have suggested you price it at $1,964, but that's just me. Interesting. But we'll take fifteen hundred. Fourteen ninety nine. Well, okay. And then the mm -hmm. dollar handling. Fine. I'm in. Now, what does little Zach say? You're uh, supposed to say something. Come up with something clever. Something. I said mm -hmm. clever. Wow. I bet you would have been a lot of fun in 1964. Wait a minute. Wait right there. As if we were going somewhere. 
It's like one of your competitors, Todd. Do I sell crappy games? No, no, she's she's moving them up and down with a she's Look at that, all this extra effort. I wonder if it was Wayne's idea. I mean that's a lot of work to come up with that. And the, and the you know and it, it's really not needed, but it's clever. It's like one of those water gun clowns. You no, know, I think somebody... Mm -hmm. Chuck, look, I'm looking at the surface. I think somebody put clear coat on this. It looks like it, yes. Yeah. Because it, it, looks it, like started to, yeah, it started to wear a little bit. You yeah, can it see looks it. like yeah. some clear coat. Yeah, I agree. Uh, although, he look, look. This is a Mylar. Oh, yeah, so it is. Yeah. So somebody yep, took a lot of right care in this. The cabinet yeah. is original paint. It, it's okay. -ish. It's in nice shape. It really is. I mean, the play field is pretty nice. It's been sealed, definitely. It's with a kiss. With it, well, I, of course it's sealed with a kiss. But it really is nice. Happy Clown! Well, you get him to do that. that would be... Yeah, I'm not sure how to get the lights brighter. We should I guess you'd have to be careful so you don't burn the projection um, yes. lens, the, uh, the, the, the film. We should call GTS. I could telephone. I uh, could. Maybe we could call me. Wayne and ask him. Klondike, Klondike 51734. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, and please get your checkbook open. Cash works too. Aha. Uh -huh. What are you guys doing? You're a happy clown. Happy clown! <laughs> Nobody likes clowns. Chuck, thank you for coming over and playing. I didn't appreciate you winning. What's out here? Well, thank you for sharing <laughs> Happy Clown with me. Dirt. Somebody <laughs> walked out our door one day, so we painted this. He walked in. And walked out. Kurt, Kurt, please do it again. The guy came in. He thank walked you. in. He walked in this door like this. This place is cool. This place is awesome. Wow. What's out here? And he What's spun around that? and he stepped right down. He, he walked right out. It was like a U-turn, <laughs> and he passed this. Oh, and there was no there truck. Was no truck there. Right to the and ground. Went right to the ground. Oh man! Now <laughs> that, now that That's would make a right. happy clown. So, <laughs> yeah, thirty minutes right later, happy. I painted this yellow oh, line, What's that and mean? then I changed this to clear, oh, so they could at least look out. See, this is what it used to be, and you couldn't really oh. see through it, but I made it clear. So now they're like racing stripes. I like it. What's out here? <laughs> Just went right through. Where, where did he think he was? I mean, the twilight's, in other words, was, when you go into the room, there's all these rooms inside. He probably thought it was on the Star Trek, the, uh, the, the, the one floor, the hol hologram deck. He, he wanted to see what was in God's room. <laughs> oh, man. Still not as funny as Frank Soup. That's another day. <laughs> we'll tell you about Frank Soup. <laughs> that was the best. Well, thank you. Well, please order this. I need. Happy fun. Make this clown. <laughs>